Demons destroyed. Jesus and his disciples crossed the Sea of Galilee. They met a man with evil spirits who lived in a cemetery. He screamed constantly and cut himself with stones. Jesus told the spirits to leave. Don't hurt us, Jesus! The spirits cried. My name is Lots, said the man. There are lots of evil spirits in me. Well, you have to leave him, said Jesus. You have no choice. The evil spirits were scared. There was a large herd of pigs nearby. Then send us into the pigs. Jesus let the evil spirits enter the pigs. The whole herd rushed down a steep bank into the lake and drowned. The people who took care of the pigs told everyone in town what had happened. The townspeople came to the cemetery. They saw that Jesus had made the man well. Frightened, the people begged Jesus to leave. The man asked to go with Jesus. Jesus replied, Stay here. Tell everyone what I've done. The man did, and everyone was amazed. Jesus asked the man to stay so that he could tell everyone what Jesus had done for him. 
true or false. Time to get up. Jairus, a leader of the synagogue, fell at Jesus' feet. My little girl is dying, he cried. If you lay your hands on her, I know that she will live. Pushing through the crowd, they met some men from Jairus' house. Your daughter is already dead, they said. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. Believe, and your daughter will be healed. They arrived at Jairus' house and found people weeping for the girl. Why are you weeping? Jesus asked. The girl's not dead. She's only sleeping. The people laughed at him. Jesus and three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, went into the house with Jairus and his wife. The little girl was lying there, just as everyone had said. Jesus took her hand, then he said, Stand up, little girl. And she did! She even walked around the room! Jairus and his wife were amazed. Jesus told them not to tell anyone what he had done. Now, said Jesus, I think this girl needs something to eat. Who did Jesus bring back to life?
The Big Picnic Jesus had finished teaching. Everyone was hungry. Send them away to buy food, his disciples said. But Jesus wanted to show the people that they could trust God. Why don't you feed them? Jesus asked. It would take a year's wages to buy bread for them all, his disciples cried. How much food do you have? asked Jesus. There is a boy here, said Andrew, who has five loaves of bread and two little fish. Jesus smiled. Perfect. Tell the people to sit down on the grass. So the people sat down all over the mountainside. Jesus thanked God for the bread and the fish. Then he broke them into pieces for his disciples to hand out. Jesus' disciples passed out bread and fish to the whole crowd. There were 5,000 men and lots of women and children, too. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Afterwards, the disciples gathered up the leftovers. There were 12 baskets full from just five loaves and two fish. The people knew they could trust God to care for them. Jesus showed the people that they could trust God to care for them. True or false? Coming home. 
Why does Jesus spend time with people who do bad things? The religious leaders wondered. So Jesus told them a story about God's love. This is how it went. A man had two sons. The younger son asked for the money he would get when the father died. Heartbroken, the father gave his younger son half of his property. The son moved to a distant country. He wasted all the money. Then a famine came, and he had to feed pigs. He wished he could eat the pigs' food. My father's servants do better than this, he thought. I'll return home and admit that I have sinned against him and God. Maybe he'll make me one of his servants. The son went home. While he was still far away, his father ran to him and hugged him. I'm not worthy to be your son, he told his father. Bring my son my best robe, the father told his servants. Put a ring on his finger. Roast our fattest calf. My boy was lost and now he's found.
The older son was angry when he heard about the celebration. It's not fair, he complained. I work faithfully and get nothing. He wastes your money and gets a party. All that's mine is yours, the father replied. Your brother was dead. Now he's alive. He was lost. Now he's found. So what can we do but celebrate? In Jesus' story, which person loved the younger son so much that he celebrated his return? The Donkey and the King It was Passover time. Jerusalem was filled with people. When Jesus reached the Mount of Olives, a hill overlooking Jerusalem, he told two of his disciples to find a donkey. They found the donkey and put their cloaks on it. Jesus rode on the donkey, fulfilling the Bible verse that says, Here comes your king, Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Jesus rode the donkey down to Jerusalem. Many people remembered his miracles and joined him. They put cloaks and palm branches on the road before him to honor him. They hoped that Jesus was God's promised Savior, so they shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the King of Israel! <laughs> 
The whole world is following him, the Pharisees grumbled. Tell them to be quiet, Jesus. Even if everyone stopped shouting, Jesus replied, the stones would still praise me. Which group of people was not happy to see Jesus coming to Jerusalem? <laughs> 